Hi guys, this is Shrinking Kathy here. Um, this is my 13 week post op update. So if you're new here, welcome. And if you're not, welcome back. It's really good to see you. So I am in my room. It is almost 9 p.m. and I'm really tired. So my hair is windblown because I did a 10 kilometer bike ride today. I had a great time. Um, Oh, I forgot to do my stats, sorry. So my stats are, I'm gonna put them here. Um, I am 52 years old, I am five foot four, and my starting weight was 304 pounds. That was January the 11th, the day that I started off to fast. I had RNY gastric bypass surgery on February 1st of this year with Dr. David Lindsay in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. And um, yeah, so this morning I stepped on the scale and guess what? It's my first stall. I hate to say that, but it's true. I am on a stall. So I already recorded this video. I was standing up because I wanted to show you this top because it's a brand new top and it's really cute. So I'll put a clip of that video in here somewhere, but I had to redo it because I watched it and I could not stop moving the whole time. All I did was pull down my sleeves, pull down my top, flip my hair. I'm holding my hands like this for a reason. <laughs> it's so that I won't fidget through this whole thing and drive myself crazy and have to do this for a third time. So... <laughs> You think after bike riding 10 kilometers, I'd be tired enough that I wouldn't be like constantly in motion while I'm trying to do the video. It was really bad. So anyway, um, I hope you're all having a good week and that everything's going well with you. I was kind of disappointed to see the scale didn't move this week, but it did move, if I want to be honest. Last week, I met with a dietitian via telehealth, and she told me that I was doing great. That, um, hang on. Sorry, I was just making sure, it looked like my computer was unplugged and the battery's not very good and it, it just cuts out on me sometimes. But it, it's plugged in, so we're good. But anyway, she told me I'm doing great and that I've already lost 45% of my excess weight. 45%, guys! That's almost half of my excess weight. So I'm so pleased about that. And, um, yeah, she said I'm not eating enough calories and I'm not eating enough carbs, and that could be why I'm getting dizzy. Um, if you've been watching me, you know I've been having dizzy spells that they get pretty bad. So anyway, she said I should up my car, my uh, carbohydrates, bleh, my carbs, and uh, my calories as well. So um, yeah, see, so yeah, I'm already fidgeting. So I have to. Uh, I decided I'd try that. So the next day. I added 100 extra calories, so instead of, uh, I usually eat between 5 to 550 calories a day, so I, I think I ate 650 that day, and I'm, I usually have under 35 carbs a day, and usually, like, at the most under 50, but it's more often than not, it's under 30, 35. So I think that day I had 55 or 60 carbs. The very next day I weighed myself and I was up a pound. Now, it might not be because of the eating because I had also decided to not take my water pills for a week. I had a doctor's appointment um, on Monday, so I didn't want to have water pills until Monday to see if my dizziness went away. And um, I really didn't notice if it went away or not because we get bad weather every day, and I only get dizzy when I'm bike riding or walking up a hill, or if I go up the stairs too fast, and I wasn't doing any of that because, well, for one, it was raining every day. And for another, I don't like the feeling of dizziness, so I make sure not to go up the stairs too quickly. So I didn't take my water pill all week, and I know I'm retaining water because I can see it in my face. My face is puffy. My fingers, I don't know if you can see how puffy they are here. My ankles are puffy. So it might not have been the extra calories and carbs, to be fair. It might have been the water pill. So I don't know. So anyway, um, but she was very happy with where I am. I'm down, you know, almost 74 pounds. I'm like 0.2 away from 74 pounds. 0.2 pounds, what's like two ounces, I guess. 
So anyway, um, I saw my doctor on Monday, and he and the nurse that worked with him were just shocked by how much weight I've lost, even since I've seen them last. They were really pleased. Um, big smiles all around, and that felt so good. I mean, it felt really good. I mean, it's the only time in my life I don't mind getting on the scales to get weight. And I always weigh five pounds more there because my appointment was at 3.30, and I usually weigh myself in the morning. So you know yourself if you weigh yourself early in the morning and then later in the afternoon after you've eaten a few meals and drank a lot of water, you do weigh a lot more. And it's, when you retain water, it goes up and down a lot too. So I'm sorry this is moving so much. I hope I don't have to do this again. So, <laughs> um, yeah, so I did my measurements today. And the last time I did my measurements was March 22nd. So today is May 3rd. So March 22nd, that's the end of March. So a little bit more than a month. So in that time, I've lost two inches on my chest, two inches on my waist, two inches on my hips, um, one inch on my belly, two inches on my thigh, my right thigh, one inch on my calf, half an inch on my ankle, and um. So for a total for my core and my right hand side of my body was 10.5 inches. So if I were to add my my left thigh, that would be another two inches, so that's 12.5, and my calf, that would be 13.5, and my ankle, 14, 14 inches I, I lost. So 14 inches, guys, that's more than a like that's a yardstick. So let's see. So just in a little bit more than a month, here's 12 inches, 13, 14, 0.5. That's what I said. So I lost that all over my body. That's a lot. So I'm really pleased about that. So I'm going to put a clip from the other video that I don't like in here to show you this top. And also to show you another top that my aunt gave to me. So I'll put that in here. This is a new top that I bought last night. Um, I don't have any room. The wall is right here. My parents are home. So um, I don't want to go downstairs and videotape like I usually do. So I'm just in my room. So um, I don't know if you can see this, but I can't really back up. So I got it on sale for half price. And it's a 1X. And another NSV. Hang on. My aunt gave me this pretty top. I have a wedding to go to this weekend, so I'm going to wear this with some black pants. Um, this is just attached, so it looks like it's a jacket with a top underneath, but it's all one piece. And she had never worn it before. And it's a size. I don't know if you can see that. Is it focusing? Anyway, it's a size extra large, you guys. So this is my first, and it fits. So this is the first thing in an extra large that I got into. Everything else is a 1X. So I'm really pleased about that. I think she got this across the river in Sioux, Michigan. So, um, I can't sit still. I'm sorry. I'm going to probably have to do this video a third time. I, um, I did get some bad news from my doctor. He thinks the dizziness is because I have high blood pressure. Now, my blood pressure isn't high. He did it in the office, and it was borderline. So he did it again, and it was borderline. He did it five times, and it was always borderline. It, it's on the cusp of being okay and high, like it's iffy. So it has been like that before. But to be fair, I hate having my blood pressure taken. I get nervous about it. I have fibromyalgia, and it hurts my arm for the rest of the day when they take my blood pressure. I mean, if the nurse does it herself, if she pumps it up herself, I'm okay. But they use that machine that pumps it up so tight. And um, I just get really tense. So I think that might be part of the reason why it, it comes out a little bit higher at the doctor's. But I have a machine at home, too. And he wants me to do my blood pressure three times a week. And he did cut back my um, water pill to half. And he added this new blood pressure medicine and it's um I can't remember what it's called but he said it's a very low dose so I went to go pick it up and I asked the pharmacist what's the side effect of this 
and the pharmacist had the side effect of dizziness. And like dizziness, the whole reason why I want this drug, why it's for to combat dizziness. So anyway, the pharmacist said I'm gonna feel probably pretty bad, exhausted for a week to two weeks, dizzy for a week to two weeks, and not to drive or operate heavy machinery. Yeah, like I'm gonna operate heavy machinery. And he also told me to cut back on my exercise. So I'm not doing that because I, I'm not doing that. When I had pneumonia, I had to cut back on my exercise for two weeks. So there, it's not happening again. So I went by grinding for 10 kilometers today. I loved it. It was a beautiful sunny day. And I'll put some videos that I took here. But I'm on my bike from my bike ride. I am about at the halfway point. I like to stop at this little creek. Um, it's like a little runoff creek. It's really pretty. There's my bike. And there's the bridge for the uh, Main Street Second Line. And on the other side of the bridge, the creek continues. And I haven't gone that way yet because it's still pretty muddy. So I'm staying to the, uh, to the roads basically today. But next time when the weather dries up a bit, I want to go on the other side. But, um, yeah, it's a beautiful day. It's our first sunny day in about a week. So instead of going swimming, I decided to go for a bike ride. So I just thought I'd do this little clip. I was hoping to do one with me in it, but my video on my phone is just not working right. So this will have to do. So I decided not to head right home. My headache is starting to go away. And uh, I came to this neighborhood. It has this really pretty little park with a pathway that goes quite far. Well, not far for biking, but for walking. If you have a dog, it's a beautiful park. And over here, there's a little playground equipment. And then it goes out to the street over there and over here. But it's really pretty and it's not far from my house, about half an hour. So, yeah. And I used to live in this neighborhood years ago. My first apartment that I ever rented when I was 18 years old was in this neighborhood. I don't remember exactly what house anymore. <laughs> I think it was one street over down that way. But I used to come to this park and read. So, I'm going to sit down and have something to drink. There's my bike. Here, you can't see it very good. I'm just going to tilt my camera because I'm not sure which takes a better video. This way or this way. And this way right here is just holding it up and down like a phone. And this way is holding it sideways. So I don't know. All right, guys. I'll see you in a bit. It's so beautiful out. Bye. I hope that worked. And if it did, isn't that nice? So I am not going to stop my exercise or slow it down. Because I just don't want to. It takes too long to build it up again. Anyway, I've already been talking for 10 minutes, so I'm going to stop there. Um, thank you, everyone who comments. It means the world to me, your support. And um, I really, I look forward to seeing all the comments. So um, thank you, everyone who has subscribed. I've got quite a few new subscribers last week, and I really appreciate that. So if you haven't already, please subscribe. Um, and thank you for watching. All right, guys, I hope you have a great week. Love you. Take care. Bye.